Well, Aaron, uh, congratulations on the flawless victory. I'm curious, what are the what are the emotions now that you pulled this off against Molly McCann? Uh, you know, I mean, I'm super happy about it. I mean, uh, it's kind of what I expect out of myself. So, yeah, not out of the ordinary, but very happy. When you when you stood up after she tapped, you kind of brushed your shoulders off and looked at the camera. So, was this how you saw this playing out? Like this flawless and this easy of a victory for you? Uh, you know, I know if I listened to my coaches, I was capable of doing it. So, um, so yeah, when I did that, it was kind of just like my natural reaction. When you got her in that crucifix and you were kind of landing all those blows unprotected, were you, were, obviously you knew how tough Molly was, but were you surprised at how long she was able to last in there? <laughs> yeah, honestly, I was surprised the ref didn't stop. I mean, she was moving, so I can kind of get it. But in the moment, I was like, how many times do I have to hit her to get him to stop it? But um, I mean, I, was, I just transferred to the submission from there, so. Well, that first submission, did you think you were going to break her arm? Because the, the, the broadcast team was like, Molly just might not tap to this, and it's going to snap. The first one, no, because she was blocking my leg. I needed to get that leg over the head to really uh, get her arm behind her back. The second one, um, I felt I knew if she didn't tap, I was going to, like, rip her shoulder off. What did you two say after? It looked like she, she lifted you up after the win, and then she also walked over to you after they checked on her arm. Oh, uh, you know, she congratulated me. She was like, I couldn't get out of that crucifix. Um, yeah, she was just being respectful. Did any of this week bother you with the boos that you got considering Molly was such a fan favorite? They showed from the, the vantage point of your face-off, she was like, this is your town, right? When on, During the face-off, did any of that get to you or bother you whatsoever? No, you know I mean, when I got this matchup with Molly, um, I knew that she was super hyped, so I knew I was probably going to get some boos even though it's in New York. Um, so I kind of embraced that and knew I was going to make them cheer for me after. So, um, and anything she said, I knew she was going to say something, so I didn't really care. And after this performance, a lot of social media is essentially like, well, the only fighter I think Aaron I would favor against Aaron is Valentina at this point. So how do you taper those kind of expectations from the fans and just stay focused and climb up these rankings like this? Uh, you know me, I love if the fans are saying that. I know um, I'll take the steps I need, and once I get to fight her, I'll beat her. Congratulations. Thank you. Just over here. You know, Molly had a lot of a lot of momentum going into this one. You know, she was you know, a bit of a name in the division. Um, do you think this getting this dominant win over her perhaps shows more people about you, brings more eyes to you? Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, she was a big name and a lot of people love to watch her. So uh, me beating her like that should hopefully get some eyes on me. And you said you want to get into the top 10. You mentioned uh, Andrea Lee and Casey O'Neill. Mm -hmm. um, Casey O'Neill did tweet that uh, she's not injured for much longer. Okay. In terms of the matchups, though, which one interests you the most? Um, I don't really care. I just want to get someone in the top 10. So which either of those girls that they can match me up with would be perfect. And Tracy Cortez was your only loss. Would that interest you, getting that back? Uh, you know, I feel like that fight will definitely come. Uh, I think she's already matched up right now. and. Um, She's behind me in the ranking, so I still kind of want to move up. But if at any point they offer me that fight, I'll take it. And in terms of getting back in there again, what, what time frame suits you best? Uh, I'm not really sure as of right now. I want to see how my body feels this week. Um, but we'll, we'll get something soon. <laughs> and obviously getting the win here in New York. How much does that mean to you? And how are you going to be celebrating that tonight? Oh, I already have like some dinner reservations with um, some friends and uh, probably going out after that. Um, but, you know, I mean, this is something I've wanted for a really long time, and I'm, I'm just really happy I was able to make it happen. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you. Aaron, over here to your right. Uh, I know you said you don't want to rush to get the title a couple, couple of years away. How about a main event? How far away till the main event? Oh, I would love a main event because I feel like the only experience I haven't had is a five-round fight, and I, I would love to have that experience before I fight for a title. Um, so a main, event, a main event fight would very, interest me very much. And another thing about Molly was all the celebrities, The Rock following her, Drake, and all this. Uh, mm -hmm. Any any celebrity you wish would reach out to you and, and congratulate you on this? Uh, you know, I don't really care about that. I know it'll come uh, with the bigger fights I win. So uh, when it comes, it comes. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you. Aaron, down the back here. How confident are you? I know there's been a, a couple of big finishes tonight. How confident are you that you're going to get that 50K? Uh, you know, I mean, I kind of dispatched of her pretty quickly. Um, I mean, I know it was a favorite going in, but uh, I don't think people expected that. So, and it was a great finish. So, I'm I'm, I'm pretty confident, and hopefully, we'll see how it goes. Were you a bit annoyed seeing um, that last fight, the light heavyweight one? Uh, I kind of saw it when I was getting interviewed. Uh, I know there's a couple of performance bonuses, so hopefully, I can still get in there. Thank you.